Alright, welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, The Hangman is a film uh, that uh, puts a spotlight on untold stories, lies, truth and acceptance between father and son during the apartheid regime. Alright, before we continue this conversation, let's take a look at the trailer. Right, as you can see there in your shot, well, it will be released on the South African Film Circuit in February. That's next month, and it features all stars. Well, some of uh, South Africa's uh, talent, Leratum Velase, Asokulu, and Kenjana there, and Tato Lala, who's sitting there here with us, and with him is Zwele Tu Khatebe. He's the film director, and then with him, as I said, Tato Lala. Gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. You know, let's start with what this film is essentially without giving it away what is it about well the story looks like it's a, it's a disjointed relationship between a, a father and a son um keto working as a, as a all right i'm gonna bring uh tato into this conversation i'm gonna hold on it but you know the gremlins are awake uh today so <laughs> so, king, ne? so let's try again let's bring tato tato uh, essentially in your own words and when you you saw this for the first time what what, what is this about oh we'll be we've been working on this script for quite some time now it's been about four years or so so when we started it was initially with you do we tell the story or don't you tell the story we're like yo we have to tell the story and it's essentially about a father-son relationship and, and a disjo disjointed family, basically, because um, what happens is um, you find people that work in environments that don't necessarily, they don't necessarily want to work in. Because of situations they want to feed their family, the social political context of the time kind of like doesn't allow for black people to progress. So what that does is that it, push, it puts pressure in the family and the son now has to do things that is doesn't really want to do to yeah. protect his mother and find out what really happened to his father. And, you know, essentially, what is the message behind uh, this film? It's, uh, it's restoration to say that re families need to be restored and you find yourself... Um, Please go on. Go must on. I continue? Yeah. Okay, cool. Families need to be restored and, you know, there are, there are certain issues in families that are not spoken about. There are certain secrets in families that are not spoken about. Mm. What, may happen, what may have happened in history. And we find that as time progresses, it kind of like makes families dysfunctional. So it's time for families to kind of like get together and discuss those type of things. Because they really, it's, it's, it sets us back. All right, let's see if Zuletu is audible now. Because, you know, the gremlins this morning. All right, and talk to us about your cast. And, yeah. you know, what went into casting all these different creatives? Yeah. Well, you know, when I look at the, the lead actor, Tato, uh, we, we've been working together for, geez, I think, over five years. Um, so we already, knew, I, when, I write, when I wrote the script, I already had them in mind. Yeah. Uh, when I wrote, in fact, all of the characters, I had them all in mind. So Lerato Mvela, I said, Kulu Skenja, and uh, playing all the roles. I was writing, you know, imagining them playing those roles. So for me, it was just a, a matter of going to them, approaching them, and asking them, would you, 
do you, do you see the value in the script? Yeah. Would you like to be a part of it? <laughs> and then from there, you know, from there, everybody jumped on board and from there we took it on and we, we made the film. Yeah. It do, it's interesting you say that because you wrote uh, the script with them in mind, but it's another thing for it to gel when yeah. it comes together. You know, Absolutely. you have all these ideas yeah. and then it, it must sort of, you know, come together when it does come on, you know, when you put it together. Was that one of your concerns? It, it wasn't a concern of mine. Um, I think intuitively what I knew was that these characters were going to be able to bring to life these, 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 these characters, these mm. people were able to bring, bring life these characters. And what was interesting for me was that because the film is set in period, and it looks at 15 year you know, durations, yeah. were they able to you know, play these characters as older versions of themselves and younger versions of themselves? Yeah. And I felt that they both had the balance of being able to be old and young, which for me worked perfectly. So, and also because you're creating a story about a family, yeah. they've also got to resemble one another. At some, you know? And uh, for me, I felt that there was a, a great resemblance and it, it felt right, it mm. worked. You know, so. Tato, what was it that like working with Zwele to here's this man with this vision, he's written it down and says, take a look. Uh, what was that like for you being directed by him? Um, it's great. Um, with this particular story, as Zwele said, we've been working on it for about four to five years. Yeah. But our working relationship within the film industry is over 10 years now. So it was, it was m so much easier uh, on set because I already know Zwele. I've got a certain rapport with him. He understands me. He doesn't yeah. have to say much. He just gives certain direction to say, yo, this is the vision for the scene. This is the setting. And this is how I want you to translate it. And then, yeah, he gives, he gives, very, he speaks very little, yeah. but he knows what he wants. And because Most creators do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it makes sense for him as well because he's, he spends his time behind the monitor mm. looking at the shot. So he doesn't want to talk too much. So he puts a lot of the trust into his actors. And yeah, his casting, your casting is great, mate. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the significance of that title, you know, mm. The Hangman. Why call it that? Originally, when I, when, I, when I thought of the title, in fact, that was the first title I ever had for the story. Mm. And I thought it would change or evolve at some stage, but it just felt it, it was right, but also it encapsulated what the character, the lead actor, was going through, where he, he's a man who's now faced with, you know, either responsibility to, 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 to take his father, his life, in his hands, um, and become a hangman. And uh, working in an apartheid system as a black prison warder, there's a lot of dynamics and there's a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, in a conflict that this character is facing. Mm. And uh, the hangman, for me, I felt very suited because when you watch the film at first, you try to figure out who is the hangman. And the yeah. hangman's title kind of falls off on not only the lead character, but the people that surround him in the, in the, in the system, in the prison. Um, so I felt that the, the, the title, in its ambiguity, is, 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 is very spot on. Mm. You know. What were the highlights for you, Tato, being part of this particular production? The script. Yeah. The script, like it's it's all in the story. If the story doesn't make sense, then why make it? And the fact that it's it's very South African, we take on a different angle of telling the apartheid story. The story is set in, in the late eighties and eighty nine. But instead of focusing on oh this is what used to happen, oppression, oppression, it's kinda like now we look into the family side of things. So how families were affected mm. by the system. So it was kinda great to go back because I was about a year old. I was born in 88. So 89 had no concept or vision of what's happening. Yeah. So to kind of revisit the material now in 2017, um, but the film was made last year in 2016, it kind of like, I had to make it as real as possible for me. So it was exciting to kind of like play and resemble a time that I didn't even live in. All right. And the similarities between Keta and Tato, were you able to... Mm. Uh, oh, they are so it. far off. They yeah. are so far off. And that's, that's what makes it exciting for me as a mm. performer, is that uh, the, if the character is so different from me, I even play the character better. Yeah. But I have to find sort of kind of like some, some similarities between myself and, and, and the character because I've also found myself in situations that I didn't necessarily want to be in. And uh, that was kind of like the parallel story between myself and Keta. So I use that as a base to kind of like elevate myself to give a performance according to what the story arc was supposed to go. Absolutely. All right. Mm. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Uh, director and uh, lead actors related to uh, Khatebe. Uh, well, uh, uh, the lead in that is uh, Tato and then uh, Zuletu is the director. The uh, film is called The Hangman and it is, will be released next month on the South African circuit. All right.